Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming another according to you video. That's a series that I started on my channel where I ask you guys to basically submit the best products per category. We started out with, I think foundations, we've done primers, concealers, and today we are doing powders. I cannot wait to share with you guys the top 10 products that won. I have so many amazing powders sitting in front of me. Before we get into the powders, if you wanna participate in my next episode, we're gonna be doing bronzers next. So I will have a form in the description box. Go ahead and click on that, submit your favorite bronzers, leave your review on why you think it's the best out there. And then I will be tallying up all of the submissions and I'll be sharing with you what you guys feel like are the top bronzers to ever exist. This is one of my favorite series that I've ever done on my channel. I love doing a lot of series, but this is probably one of my all time favorites. And I think it's probably one of your guys's too. I get comments all the time asking when the next episode is coming out. So yeah, it's just a fun video to film. It is so cool to see what exactly you guys love. And I love how in every episode, there really is a great mix of high-end and drugstore products. So let's just go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 10 is this right here, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I love this powder personally. So if you haven't watched the series before, I do actually read a couple of reviews as we go through each powder. So Kaylee said, I love this product. It leaves an airbrushed finish, which lasts all day, brightens under the eye, which is great when I get really dark circles. Also the packaging has a sieve, which means you don't lose loads of product. It is definitely really great. So underneath the top, you do get that little net that catches the product. So you don't get an overload of product escaping the pan. Elaine also submitted this as her favorite powder and she said, this powder is incredible. I always get compliments on my complexion when I'm wearing this. It smooths the face and looks absolutely natural. Whether it's underneath the eyes or setting the whole face, it always looks stunning. Smells amazing too. Love, love this series, Allie. I'm so glad you like this series, Elaine, and I'm so glad you like this powder too. It's one of my personal favorites. I also agree. I love how it smells. So, oh, I forgot to say, number 10 had 27 submissions. So 27 of you guys think that this is the best powder. Also, before we move into number nine, I am so grateful to every single one of you who submit your favorites and who leave these amazing reviews as you submit. It helps me so much with this video and it makes it so much fun. So if you wanna participate in the bronzer one, the more the merrier, the more people that submit, the better our results are and the more fun it is for all of us. So. I just hope you know how much I appreciate all of you guys who participate in these videos. It is so fun to read through all of your comments. In previous videos, if I get a product that has the same amount of votes, I will mention both. So in this case, we have two powders tied in number nine, both having 28 votes. The first one is this one right here, the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Kat said, setting powders are always a tricky thing for me as I'm constantly looking for ones that don't leave my skin feeling drier than what it already is. I love how soft this powder is and how it doesn't feel overly drying, but instead a soft velvety finish on the skin. I'm also incredibly fair skinned like you, so finding one that doesn't leave a tint is also a big factor in my choice. I agree, I feel like this is really beautiful and does leave a nice soft velvet finish and I also struggle with finding translucent powders that don't tint the skin and I agree, I don't find that that happens with this powder. Emma said, the price tag on this stopped me from buying it for a long time, but I'm so happy I took the plunge and tried it. I have dry, acne prone skin and most powders look way too heavy on me. This powder glides on, sets my makeup and never looks cakey. Even though it's expensive, you only need a small amount and it lasts forever. By far my number one powder. Absolutely loving this series, by the way. Thank you, Emma, for your review and thank you for your sweet comments on this series. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. The second powder tied at number nine with 28 votes is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Lydia said, I love this powder. It's an oldie, but a major goodie. It's so soft on my skin and keeps my skin from looking oily throughout the day. It's been around forever and I can absolutely see why. It is slightly fragranced, but the fragrance never bothered me. This is my go-to never let me down powder. I know so many people really, really love this powder. For me personally, the fragrance is a little bit strong in the beginning. Throughout the day, it does linger longer than other powders, but it's not too bad. I should probably give it another chance. I'm just so sensitive with fragrances. But the formula on this really is so good. You guys were saying once, I think they make a fragrance-free version. Am I wrong? 
Am I making that up completely? Somebody help me in the comments. Do they make a fragrance-free version? Because if so, I need to buy that. Kelly said, I live in Georgia, so the heat is real. It smooths, mattifies, and keeps my makeup set all day. I used it for my wedding day and it lasted wonderfully. Patting the product in instead of swiping makes such a beautiful difference. Thank you for being our big sister that we love getting beauty help from. You're absolutely wonderful. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate you, I love you. Thank you, Kelly and Lydia, for your reviews on the Cody Airspun Powder. Moving in at number eight with 37 votes. This was an exciting one because I think it's something that more people need to know about, but clearly so many of you guys are really enjoying it. So number eight with 37 votes, we have this right here. This is from Nakia Joy Cosmetics. This is a YouTuber's brand. I really enjoy watching Nakia's videos, so I will have her channel linked down below. So many of you guys voted this as your favorite powder and it's one of mine as well. Lauren said, I have never used a powder that made my skin look as smooth as this. It looks flawless and makes makeup last all day. Nothing else comes close. And Kelsey said, I love this powder. I have oily and combo skin with dry cheeks. Additionally, as I'm getting older, I'm paying more attention to the texture of my under eyes. This powder helps keep my T-zone shine free all day while also not drying out my skin on my more dry and delicate areas. I couldn't be happy. Happier. I agree. I love this powder so much. It seems like a lot of you guys do too. If you haven't tried this, it's so good. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, but this video is for pressed and loose powders. And for the bronzer video coming up, feel free to submit a cream bronzer or a powder bronzer. I'm just gonna tally up, you know, whatever the most popular bronzers are, whether they end up being cream or powder. That's how it ended up working with this. I told you guys to submit pressed and loose powders, whatever you felt like was your favorite. And there's a good mix, honestly. So coming in at number seven with 42 votes is, dun da da da. This right here, you guys, it's the Kosas Cloud Setting Powder. Such a cool, like, baked formula. It comes in a lot of different shades. It's such a beautiful formula. I love this one. So Monica said, I have really dry under eyes and I have tried so many powders to set my concealer and they all cause my under eyes to be too dry. After years of searching, I finally found the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. It does not dry out my under eyes, it does not move my foundation, and it still leaves me looking radiant and glowy without making me look too matte. It's an amazing powder all around. And then Gisela said, there aren't many powders that I found that can fully set my face without having a powdery finish on the skin or taking away the effect of the foundation. This powder sets all while looking so incredibly natural and having a slight blurring property that truly makes my skin look healthy. At the end of the day, my skin's a little dewy, but it's never too much, and I can trust it to do its job even when I'm wearing a mask. Thank you for starting this series, Ali. Love you, love you too. Um, thank you for submitting your reviews. This makes me want to try this as my setting powder. Powder. I think in the past I've only used it as like a finishing powder, but I love the idea of being able to set makeup without really shifting the finish of your foundation. Because I know a lot of people who want to wear a liquid foundation, maybe you want to keep that finish, but you want it to last all day, so I'm excited to try it like that. I love hearing your tips and tricks as far as application goes um, when you submit your favorite products. It's just really helpful for me. I learn something every time I do these videos. All right, coming in at number six with 44 votes is this right here, well loved by me. If it would focus, my goodness, there we go. Speaking of focus, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Setting Powder. The text has worn off on mine because I love it so much. Jackie also loves it and she says, this powder is the best. I seriously do not understand how it's only $5.99. I don't either. I've tried tons of different powders and so many of them dry me up and give me that dreaded powdery look. This one melts into the skin seamlessly while still locking in my makeup all day. I live in Florida and even in the heat of the Florida summer, this keeps my makeup from melting off my face and keeps me from getting shiny. That really says something. If makeup works in Florida, it should work anywhere. <laughs> Rachel said, I've gone through many different powders in my routine, but this one is truly my holy grail. It works all over my face, on more concentrated parts of my face, over cover-ups, blemishes, anything. I even put it over dewy or creamier concealers and it locks them in place without mattifying. I live in an area with high humidity, so this powder is a necessity. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Rachel. Sounds like this is a powder that you need if you live in a humid climate. I couldn't believe that there were like two reviews that I clicked on back to back that both said something about humid climates. So thank you for your reviews. By the way, someone is mowing the lawn outside and so I really hope 
it doesn't come through on this video. I might have to wait till they pass my window to continue. We'll see. Hopefully you don't hear it too much with this mic, but sorry about that. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep reading these. Hopefully they won't come back around this side for a while. Okay, number five with 55 votes is, here comes another pressed powder. It's this right here, the number seven Lift and Luminate Finishing Powder. I love this. I actually discovered this because of you guys. You told me that it was a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, so I tried it and it is so good, you guys. Angela agrees and she said, my number one pressed powder and holy grail above all powders is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. It works with every single foundation BB cream, CC cream with finishes from light to full coverage. It's hands down the best powder ever. It really is a beautiful formula. Priyanch, you said, I've tried so many pressed powders, high-end and drugstore, and honestly, I have yet to find another powder that compares to this one. I just love the way my skin looks every time I use it, and I love that it leaves you with a nice glow rather than just making you look super matte. Definitely a holy grail for me. Thank you so much for always engaging with your subscribers, Allie. Love you and your videos. Love you too. Guys, I really hope you know how much I love you. I feel like you're all my best friends. So it is so sweet to read your kind messages. I just want to hug every single one of you. But yeah, number five is this. So many of you guys really enjoyed that. I do as well. So coming in at number four is a powder that I cannot live without. So I'm so happy that this charted on the top 10. It's this right here, my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I love the shade Transparent. And so many of you guys enjoy this as well. Actually, 57 of you submitted this as the best powder. So Talia said, started using it on your recommendation. I'm so glad. And absolutely love how it smooths and brightens the T-zone and keeps my makeup oil-free for a long time, eight to 10 hours, considering how extra oily my skin is. Thank you, Allie. I'm forever grateful for this recommendation. This made me so happy because this is a life-changing product for me. If you've watched my videos, you'll know I love this product so much. It saves me. When when in doubt, I put this on my T-zone and it really is one of the only powders that controls my oils throughout the day. Alex said, this is seriously the best powder I've ever tried. If I could only have three makeup products, this would be one. That is saying something. I discovered this powder when I first started wearing makeup 14-ish years ago, and to this day, it is still a holy grail. It totally beats out all other high-end and drugstore powders. It keeps my oily skin matte all day without looking dry or crepey or too powdery or heavy on the skin. I'm not one to have backups, but I have about 10 of these stashed away. I never want to be without it. That's how I I feel about this product too and it really shows that if Alex can use this for over 14 years it's gonna stand the test of time I feel like that's gonna be me like I should have 10 backups of this and I really do feel like I will never not buy this product oh there's a lawnmower <laughs> All right, you guys, we're moving into the top three now. My favorite part of these videos, we actually have two products that tied with 64 votes each. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really normally try to time things around yard work, but today I had to film right when they showed up. So I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Okay, I just took like five minutes off to wait for the lawnmower to go a little bit further. We're gonna move into the top three now. We have two that are tied. The first one being this right here. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I love this. This is actually what I have over the majority of my face. It's what's giving me that glow. Haley said, it sets the skin without being flat or leaving sparkles or shimmer everywhere. It keeps my oily areas in check and it doesn't emphasize my dry patches. It truly has been a miracle worker for my natural skin looks. I love how natural it looks on the face. If you're wanting to set the face but you don't want it to look matte or flat, this is so good. Ailani said, when it comes to powders, a lot of them really look cakey on my skin. However, the glow setting powder from e.l.f. just does it for me. Even if you have oily skin, it gives such a light glow from within that you will automatically fall in love with it. Not to mention, it also keeps your skin smooth and oil-free. If you haven't tried this, you need to. I agree, it is so good. Kristen also loves this powder and she said, I am obsessed with the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I used to spend $48 for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powers until I found this absolute gem coming in at $8. 
It's such a stunning blurred but yet slightly luminous finish that makes you have such a natural lit from within glow. It doesn't even enhance any dryness in my skin or lines under my eyes which is so rare for me when it comes to powders. My favorite way to wear it is to pat the tiniest amount of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer under my eyes and then brush this on top. It's stunning. Also, you are incredible, Allie. Thanks for being you. I love you. Oh my gosh, I love you too, Kristen. I cannot wait to try your tip for underneath the eyes using a little bit of the Poreless Putty Primer and then this. Kristen, if you're watching, do you sandwich concealer in between or do you do that on top of concealer? Please let me know. I really want to try that. But yeah, you guys love the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder and I do too. It seriously is beautiful. I put it all over the face today and was reminded again at why I love this so much. Tied at number three with 64 votes as well is this right here. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Camille said, and this is one of my favorite reviews that was submitted, you guys. She said, do you want to have the skin of an old Hollywood bombshell? Do you want to look like you have the pores or lack thereof of a porcelain doll? Do you want any texture to be smoothed out so you look like you have baby skin? Do you want it all for the price of a latte? <laughs> Wish granted. This was like the best review. I love it. This powder will smooth out your skin, gloss over your pores, and give you a polished, not powdery finish. I apply it a little thickly with a dampened sponge as a sheer layer of foundation. What? How did I miss that when I read it earlier? That's a great tip. I want to try that. Then drench it in setting spray. It stays put all day and looks so good that I wish I had somewhere to go. I work from home. P.S. Love you, Allie. For me, you set the standard for beauty YouTubers to live up to. That's so sweet, Camille. I love you too. Your review made me smile so big. I seriously, you guys should like work for magazines. Like the way you write your reviews, it sells me on products that I already own every single time. I loved that. Thank you so much. Aubrey said, I absolutely love this powder. It sits beautifully on the skin with all foundation or BB creams or even with nothing underneath. Okay, I need to try this. It keeps a radiant glow on the face without looking greasy. It also keeps the foundation and concealer in place all day. I used to use this on stage when I acted and it stayed put even under the heat of all of those stage lights. Amazing, that's so fun. I'm so glad it worked for you under stage lights. That really means that it's makeup that lasts. I am dying to try this on its own all over the face. Yvonne said, I always seem to come back to this powder no matter what. It blurs my face without drying me out and has such an airbrush finish. I have combination skin and it does everything a powder should do. Truly one of the best powders out there. Love you, Ali. Love you too, Yvonne. Thank you guys for your sweet, sweet notes at the end of your reviews. It truly just makes my whole life. I just adore every single one of you. Okay, are you guys ready for the top two powders? Coming in at number two is this right here. Now this is like an old limited edition packaging, so pretend mine looks more plain than this. But this came in with 74 votes. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Melissa said, obsessed with this loose powder and it's all you need after applying your makeup or for touch-ups. It doesn't change your coloring, but helps my combination skin look so natural. I'm also wearing a little bit of this in the T-zone. So I kind of layered this in the T-zone, did the e.l.f. one um, around the perimeters, and then put the number one powder under my eyes, which we'll get to in a second. Sarah said, I use very minimal setting powder because I love going for a more natural look on my textured skin, and oftentimes powder looks instantly cakey and gross on me, but this powder is awesome. I only need the smallest bit to set the oily spots on my face, like my T-zone, and it never looks cakey, and helps to smooth out pores and blurs the under eye area beautifully. I can even load up my baby blendiful or a powder puff to take it with me on the go to touch up when I start getting oily and it looks fresh all over again. That tip was amazing. I want to try that, like just dump some into a powder puff and keep it in my bag to touch up. I've never done that before. That sounds so genius. Sarah Jane said, honestly, just an absolute classic. It isn't scented, it doesn't break me out, and is just overall very consistent. A holy grail for sure. It's simple, but the best. I agree with that. It's something that has been around for years and so many makeup artist kits for years for a reason. It just, it really is a simple but really effective powder. It does what it's meant to do and never fails me. It's one of my all time favorite powders. And if you've been watching my videos recently, I'm actually reaching for this all over again. Um, it was something that I used quite a bit a few years ago. And then, you know, I tried a bunch of other powders and now I'm like really enjoying it again. 
All right, you guys, coming in at number one with 94 votes is, dun dun da this right here, the Charlotte Tilbury, let me open mine, Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder. As you can see, I enjoy this as well. So let's read what you guys had to say about this powder right here. Arlette said, flawless finish is correct. The hype is true. I have dry skin, so most powders usually don't work out for me, but this is something different. It doesn't settle into fine lines or sit on top of dry patches. It gives me an even and airbrush texture. My makeup also looks freshly applied after touching up with this. Definitely worth the splurge. Loving this series so much. I'm so glad you love this series. Thank you for submitting your review. Chelsea said, listen, I've got some fine lines under these eyes and every powder I've tried has left a powdery cakey look under my eyes until this one. Worth the splurge 100%. I've heard the number seven powder is a great dupe, but as a Canadian gal, that one is still not available to purchase here, so I'm Charlotte Tilbury all the way. I do think they're both very similar. I honestly get use out of both. I'm just like that, but this is truly an amazing product. It smooths so well, as this is the powder that I'm wearing underneath my eyes and kind of in the T-zone to smooth. Jana said, I used to think that all powders were the same, so I just used whatever drugstore one I could find. They were just getting rid of the shine, right? Until I heard people raving about this Charlotte Tilbury powder and oh my, it not only helps to get rid of the shine and sets the face, but also blurs so beautifully. And it does make my makeup last longer than those random drugstore powders. I love this so much. If I ever get married, this will for sure be in my makeup routine for that day. That's how I know it's good, LOL. Love you, Allie. I think that's amazing too. I love when people say, ooh, I wore this product on my wedding day, or in this case, if I were to get married, I would choose this to wear it on my wedding day. That really says something about how confident people are in these products. You guys are the best. I just love you all. Ladija said, this is my favorite pressed powder. It truly makes my skin look flawless. I use this powder as the last step in my routine, especially in the T-zone as I have combination to oily skin. It also has a brightening effect, so I love it underneath the eyes for a flawless and brightened look. I love your videos and this series. Thank you so much and thank you for your reviews. I agree, it really is one of my favorites to wear just in the T-zone. I don't set my whole face with this. I use it under the eyes, I use it over pores, I use it on the chin and in the middle of the forehead and it really does add that flawless coverage and smooth out pores. It's amazing. So that's it you guys. Those are the top 10 or technically I think like 12 powders. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to know in the comments, are you surprised at how these powders ranked? Are there powders that weren't mentioned in the top 10 that you feel like deserve to be in the top 10? Let us know in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your submissions to every person who participated in this data. I just really enjoy this series. I love going through, you know, all the things that you guys say and all the things you voted for. So let's keep this series going. Again, if you want to participate in the bronzer version of this video, I will have the Google form in the description box down below. Please submit your favorites, you guys. Every vote counts. It really does help me so much and it helps with the final product and end results. So thank you in advance for all your help with my next video with bronzers. If you missed the primer, foundation, and concealer videos, I will have that link down below. You definitely don't want to miss those either. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe, and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video and I hope you had fun watching it because I have so much fun filming these. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.